Hey everyone, this is Ian Hari, and welcome to Train Talk. Today we're going to talk about um, one of the passenger locomotives that have been used for Amtrak and other railroads, known as the GE Genesis series of locomotives. The GE Genesis series is a locomotive built by General Electric, which was used for many purposes. The GE Genesis series of locomotives featured many. The locomotive models included the P40EC, the P42DC, and the the P3 ACDM. So let's look at the model, the models. Been built in the mid '90s to replace many aging locomotives on railroads. Let's talk about the how it first came. It was mostly built for Amtrak. The GE Genesis series was a locomotive series built for Amtrak, Metro North, then the Connecticut Department of Trade, and via rail in Canada. Uh, the GE Genesis series was used in comparison. So let's talk about the history about the GE Genesis series of locomotives. The first model was built was, firstly, Amtrak was looking for a new type of locomotive to replace their aging F40s that were dating back to the old age. Yeah, age. Anyway, so the GE Genesis series series was was built for a specific amount of time, as many of the locomotives were really just getting out. Anyway, so the GE, the first one was the P40 DC, replacing some of the E40 Yes. Yes. The next one would be the the GE. The next one is the P40 built from 1983. 2002. One. One. The last P42, the, the, the F40s were finally ready for finally retired. The last of it were ready for retirement with all with, with all units completely withdrawn by the end of, two, of the mid of the 2000s. By the end of 2000s, of, of the early 2000s. A couple of them were wrong, were, rather, were gutted to non power control units while some still remain. Were sold off to other railroads. The P40s were about. Mm-hmm. Amtrak began selling a couple P40s to other, to local commuter railroads. The P40s were sold off to Connecticut Department of Fish and New Jersey Transit. Were the ones that purchased them. Were, to, uh, were, were a couple were sold to other operators. The, the P40. Yeah. Yeah. About uh, time. About other than other railroads to purchase them, Via Rail purchased a couple of them to replace their aging fleet of locomotives and to supplement at four days on Via Rail. Other railroads to purchase them include a couple years later, the GE Genesis, the P3 was used to replace Ian Amtrak's F7 locomotives, which dated back then, to replace the F7 locomotives. Uh, they were used mostly in New York City. The P32 ACDMs are dual mode locomotives. Let's look at the model numbers to see what they were. The P in the case of the passenger grade. The P40 means 400 horse. The DC means DC traction motors. Or AC traction. The P42 still means 4200 horsepower. The DC stands for DC traction motor. So it's a DC traction. The P32 ACDM. The PAC stands for AC traction motor. The DM stands for dual mode. That means they're dual mode locomotives. Yeah, because they do not have a DC traction motor. It is unpowered. It only has an AC traction motor. Any types of locomotives like those have all been. They've been used on Amtrak corridor trains and long distance trains for many years. Some of them are about aging. So, many cases. The Connecticut New Jersey Transit sold off all of their their P40 DCs to the Connecticut Department. Mason. Many railroads are expected to be ready to retire them in the new Amtrak on their longest trains will replace their P42 and P40s with new ALC 42s charger locomotives built by Siemens. For Amtrak long distance charger locomotives. Mm-hmm. 
Anyways, Amtrak already replaced some of them in Midwest service by new Siemens SC40 rechargeable. A couple will also be replaced by new Amtrak Aero trains, which will be replacing the P42s and P18. The the North Metro North also made an announcement that will be re- also the P32 ACDMs will also be replaced as well with brand new Dumo train sets from Siemens, built by Siemens, but replaced by ALC42Es, replacing most of the fleet in train set. Also, Metro North also announced plans for repl- being new Dumo chargers. VRL also announced plans to replace many of their older light to replace many of their to replace many of their older cars and to replace the LRC cars and replace the P forty two with brand new Siemens train sets which will be S C V forty twos and a new Siemens Venture train set and a new cab car which will be replacing many of VRL's fleet, which will be replaced in the in many years to come. Anyways, so that is a look at the. But what does the future hold for the P42s? In many cases, with all the railroads are set to retire them in the near future, a lot of the fleet is set to be retired off of many railroads. Are expected to retire next. What will, what will happen to them? Well, my guess is they'll probably be sent to, either, they'll probably be scrapped or donated to a museum or sold to smaller railroads. But what's what will happen to Amtrak units? What will happen? Well, Amtrak will definitely be ready. Thinking about games and all power, people think they're going to be getting all power Detroit. Well, they will not because it's made from one single locomotive shells, multiple, and also new cab cars are coming in, so they will not be getting the non-power control units because it's made from one single shell, and it, if a flying barrier was added, it could it it would just retrogenerate of that locomotive, and that will, but they'll probably be sold off to others to smaller operators or or be donated to museums, which will be really. To donate a couple of them to museums. A couple of CDMs are definitely going to be scrapped or donated to museums or sold to smaller railroads. The P40 DCs will either be sold off to other railroads or donated to museums or scrapped. Whatever will happen. Anyway, so that's a look at the GE Genesis series of locomotives. Thank you for watching this episode. Trying first look at the GE Genesis series of locomotives. If you have any thoughts, please look and leave a comment down below. Until next time, I'm Ian Hari. I'll see you online, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.